Hello everyone, my name is Cindy Williams and I'm the author of Back to Basics. In this issues column, we're going to talk about how to ensure that your client feels heard. Now, you might be thinking, of course my client feels heard. I listen to them, but I can tell you after years, and I mean years of working with clients, I've had many report to me that one of the primary reasons that they leave their current therapist to find a new therapist is because they did not feel heard. Now, I usually find out about this during the client health history intake interview. Many are really surprised that I spend as much time as I do asking them questions and getting to know them. And it's not even just about getting to know what their needs are in their bodies and for the massage session, but also really getting to know them as people, getting to know what their lives are like and what their stressors are. Many report they have never had these conversations at all with their massage therapists. So with that said, there are many, many times, even outside of the client intake interview, from the time that they schedule with you throughout the professional relationship, where you have opportunity to really deeply listen, to understand them, to get to know their needs, to reflect back to them what you hear them saying, and then to use that information to tailor the session and your communications with them, and most importantly, to make them feel important. A little bit goes a really long way, I can assure you. So it doesn't take much, again, with this little bit of information and also with presence, really good listening skills. So I'm just going to scratch the surface in this column, and I invite you to use these tips to develop even more solid relationships with your clients. Enjoy reading. Thanks so much.